So along the front of the case, you can just push your finger here, and the case opens up. Up here, it exposes two five and a quarter bays for CD drives or hard drives, however the external mechanism would go in here. And then right up front, this is just the filter for the fan, but just right now I want to show you how the optical work out or how these drive bays work out. So you would just push this little button right up front and then it's going to make a handle. You can just pull that out and this is going to expose again the five and a quarter drive bay. So now we're going to want to put in our optical drive. This is my Blu-ray burner. So just slide it in. That's it. You don't have to screw it in. You don't have to do anything. See, I'm pushing back here. Pushing here. It's not going anywhere. I'll do the same thing up here. Just show you up front. Slide it in. That's it. I'm not going anywhere. And then under the optical drives, Right here is where that 200 millimeter fan goes. This is the filter for that fan. So I can just take it out. When I want to clean it, take it out. Just put it under the faucet to take out all that dust. Let it dry, of course. And then here is your big old 200 millimeter fan. Now, some of you might say, man, 200 millimeters, that thing's going to be super loud. The difference between a 200 millimeter and a 120 or 140, even an 80, is you're going to get um, the same amount of air through the case with less rotation. All right. For example, a Bigfoot is going to travel further on one entire rotation than, you know, a regular car right off the lot would because, you know, they have smaller tires. We'll go ahead and close this. All right, so now we're going to want to put in the power supply. So just grab the power supply. This is a partially modular power supply. Um, 1200 watt Cooler Master Silent Pro Gold. I say partially modular because you'll notice there are a few cables that are attached and the rest are modular. I'll show you that in a little bit. First, let me go ahead and push all these cables through. Those are the USB cables and header cables and all that stuff, which we will get back to very soon. So we're going to want to put the power supply in. You'll notice right up here, there's a piece of metal that's for retention. So when you ship it, the power supply doesn't go jostle up and down. It's got right here to retain it. All right, and it's sitting on top of a uh, little bridge right down here, just so that it's able to suck out more air. And the bottom of the case, you'll notice right here, it just opened up. It has a little filter that you can also put under the faucet, clean out, again, dry before you put it back in the computer. And I'll put that in back in a second. We'll go ahead and screw in the uh, power supply. All right, and for the power supply, we're going to want to screw in the screw. And again, we know that by the manual, you'll see right here, power whoosh, comes right over here, shows you that little hex head screwdriver there, or screw, I'm sorry. And I'll tighten all four when I'm done screwing them in. You've just screwed in a power supply. 
Pretty simple. Of course, we haven't installed it, but at least we've screwed it in. We have all of the hardware other than the video card and the network card in the machine. So now we're jumping, oh, oh, and of course the hard drives, the SSDs. So now we're gonna jump into the cabling portion. And while we're doing the cabling, we'll go ahead and install the video card and the network card. We might have to run some cables under here. I know definitely we're gonna have to run some cables through the back and you know through these guys up here. And I'll show you exactly how all that works. And then of course, we'll connect the mechanical hard drives and the opticals. First, we're going to want to fish this 24 pin ATX power connector to go here. So we're going to want to put it through here, reach around the back, probably come out here or maybe here, probably better here. So first, just push this through down here. And since that's the entire cable, just push the entire thing through and then we'll fish it through up here. All right, now that it's up there. We'll play with it a little bit more, but that's it for right now. All right, and now we're gonna want to put the eight pin CPU power up here. So let's look for that cable real quick. So like we did with the 24 pin, we'll just fish this around the back. and bring it up here. All right, so you see it up here. And now we're gonna wanna connect it up here. So that's it. Connect it right up here. We're good to go. Might have end up leaving that rear cable back there. We'll see. All right, so I am left with these cables, but these are gonna end up being for my video card. I only have one, so it doesn't look like I'm gonna be fishing anything through here, but what I'll do is go ahead and install my network adapter. Should be this one here. Yep. So you can see, I've just plugged in the network adapter here. Let me show you a little closer how that worked. And again, this is just in case you don't know how to install a, uh, a, a card. So I'm just gonna pull this card out. All right, first off, like I showed you here, and I'll show you again, you're going to want to unscrew this thumb screw, or whatever the thumb screw would be for the PCIe slot. Then you're gonna to wanna to take off the PCIe cover or PCI cover. So now you can install the card. Okay, first off, you'll notice the card has these little gold pins. Don't touch them. Again, the oil on your fingertips is bad for them. You're going to want to match the card up, this part of the card right here and just slide it in, okay? And so you'll notice it goes in to the PCI slot right up there. And you can still see the pins now, but if I push just a tiny bit, the card's in. That's all you need to do when installing it. There are times when there'll be pins here that you might need to connect to the power supply, but this is a simple NIC card. You don't need to do that. Network interface card, you don't need to do that. All right, so then, screw in my thumb screws here. You can tighten them with your fingertips, but it takes so much longer. You notice I put the network interface card on the first by one slot. Okay, there's a by 16 here, by 16 here, a by 16 here another by one and another by one. Just because these are by 16s doesn't mean you can't fit a by one, you actually can. Notice the notch up here is the same as the notch down here. So this card I can actually take out and install right here. So that also means that this by 16 can also be a by eight, can also be a by four, and can also be a by one PCIe card. Just wanted to show you that a little bit. 
And now let's go ahead and install the video card. All right, so first off, you're gonna wanna slide these guys in to back here, as I showed you before. Just put this in here. And then you'll notice they meet up again back there in the PCIe slot and just push lightly and there you go you've just installed the video card now mind you we still have to install the two PCIe connections but we'll get to that a little bit later 